Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to IDKD Refresher Series on Diseases of the Abdomen and Pelvis. My name is Leila Aganovic, and I am Professor of Radiology at the University of California, San Diego. Today, we will be discussing management of uh, incidental renal lesions and non contracity which I believe is something that a lot of us come across in our daily practice. So we have a case of a 63-year-old gentleman with an incidentally detected right renal lesion. The lesion measures 73 Hans per units of non contra CT. So the question is, what is the next appropriate step when we see a lesion like this? Is it to recommend renal mass protocol CT? Is it to recommend renal mass protocol MRI? Should we do nothing because this is a benign lesion? Or should we bring the patient back in six months with CT? Or we could refer patient for renal mass biopsy. So I'll give you a few moments to see if you can figure out what is the right next appropriate step. And the answer is C. We don't need to do anything because this is a benign lesion. So what is this entity called? It's called hyperdense renal cysts. These are the cysts which are benign, however, measure greater than 20 Hansfield units on non contra CT, most likely due to presence of either proteinations or hemorrhagic material within its lumen. But the problem for us is, is when you come across one of these lesions, how do we know if something is hyperdense renal cyst or renal cell cancer if the lesion is seen on non contra CT? There was a really nice paper about almost 15 years ago now that looked into this challenge and what the authors concluded is that if we are dealing with a mass that is homogeneous and measures greater than 17 Hounsfield units on non contra CT, we are almost 100% certain that we are dealing with hyperdense renal cyst. So to come back to our patient again, we were putting a Hounsfield units measurement, 73, which is greater than 70. So now we know this is hyperdense cyst and the lesion is also homogeneous. But how about in the second patient who has actually lesions in each kidney, the lesion in the right kidney measures 52 and the lesion in the left kidney measures 35. So both of these are greater than 20, however, less than 70. So what do we do now? So when we come across a uh, renal lesion on contra CT, it falls into one of these three categories. If it's less than 20 Hunsfield units, most of the time it's a simple cyst. If it measures greater than 70 Hounsfield units, as we just saw, it's a hyperdense cyst. But this is the category where there is a big overlap between cystic and solid renal masses, between, sorry, cysts and solid renal masses. So this is the category that needs to be worked up. So to come back to our patient, uh, we eventually gave him contrast and the lesion on the right did not change much. So this was hyperdense cyst, but the one on the left enhanced avidly and it's renal cell carcinoma. So to sum it up, lesions between 20 and 70 Hunsfield units need to be worked up because you can get either cysts or solid masses in this category. So let's spend a few moments talking a little bit more about these categories, which are probably the most common lesions we see in our daily practice. Are we really sure that we are truly dealing with a simple renal cyst if it measures less than 20 Hunsfield units on non contra CT? Or to ask this question in a different way, can renal cell cancer measure water attenuation on non-renal on a non contra CT? And the answer is unfortunately big yes. Uh, please remember that we cannot 100% characterize a renal lesion on CT without assessing its enhancement. However, if we see a lesion that measures between minus 10 and 20 enhancement units, we have to look for certain uh, characteristics. We have to assess its heterogeneity, how fast it's growing, assess for presence of stranding and nodularity. And if all of these are absent, we can say that it's most likely a renal cyst. In my own experience, heterogeneity proved to be the most, uh, most helpful sign when I'm dealing with these lesions. And I'll show a few examples. Another interesting fact to remember is approximately 10 to 20 renal cell cancers can measure less than 20 Hansley units on contra CT. And why is that? They're either cystic or they are solid renal cell cancers with microscopic fat, which then bring the density of uh, Hounsfield units lower. There was another interesting paper a few years ago by Dr. McGann and his group, and they tried to assess, is there anything that we can do to try to um, avoid this pitfall? 
So they compared placing a large region of interest in entire tumor versus putting small regional interest kind of along the periphery. And what they found that if you do this technique, it might be helpful to actually pick up those uh, solid renal masses that look um, cystic here. So I'll give an example. This patient had um, a left renal lesion that measures 10 Hounsfield units, looked pretty homogeneous and smooth. However, he came back two years later and it was pretty dramatic increase for two years. But not only that, please pay attention to the shape of the lesion. It doesn't really look round, it's smooth, right? But more like wavy and uh, nodular surface. But if we put the uh, Hounsfield units, you can see that it's measuring 16 with a large region of interest. If we use the small region of interest and try to put it around the periphery, we're getting values that are well above 20, right? And this ended up being renal cell cancer. Another example is right here. A non-contrast CT put Hounsfield units measure 16, but again, look at the shape. It's not quite round, is it? When we do a contrast, this was a solid renal mass, renal cell cancer. And the last example is this one, where you can see this uh, large lab renal mass with quite a bit of nodularity and straining, right? But if you put Hounsfield units on it, we're getting fluid measurements, fluid density, 12. You have to ask yourself, it is really a cyst. And as I told you, remember, you have to look at presence of heterogeneity. Is it homogeneous or not? Well, clearly not. So is this a cyst or not? We gave contrast and this was clearly not a cyst. And again, these portions were measuring uh, fluid density because they had quite a bit of uh, microscopic fat within them. So to summarize it, when we're dealing with a le renal lesion or non contrast CD falls into one of these categories, less than 20 Hounsfield units, it's a simple cyst, but you better make sure it's homogeneous. Homogeneous and greater than 70 Hounsfield units, it's a hyperdense cyst. This category between 20 and 70 Hounsfield units needs to be worked up because there's an overlap between cysts and solid masses. And from the end, I would like to refer you to this fantastic article published a few years ago on management of incidental renal masses on CT. It covers things that I discussed today and many other helpful tips. So um, I encourage you to go on and read it. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope to see you in Davos real time sometime in the future. Thank you.